G'day everyone, back to going down today. This time we're taking a look at map 16, Black Mass. I found this map really interesting to route. Uh, it's a very small and simple looking map with basically four major triggers that you need to hit in order to spawn everything in and release a red key that allows you to open up the exit. Uh, but there's a ton of different approaches to hitting those four triggers and a surprising amount of nuance involved in exactly what order you hit them. Um, survivability is a pretty big concern here too. There's rev snipers that can hit you almost anywhere in the map. Uh, there's a handful of arch files that you have to deal with using very limited cover. Um, and there's also just a ton of pinkies, imps, and hit scanners which just flood the floor of the map. Uh, and that makes it really easy to, to face rocket yourself. I tested a dozen or so different routes for the first minute or so. Um, and I ended up settling on what I think is a pretty good balance of speed and survivability. Uh, my cleanup definitely could have been a bit faster, um, but I'm happy enough to, to have got an exit in under four minutes. Anyway, let's get into the demo. Alrighty, so at the start, we run across to the right hand side, grab the green armor and the chain gun, and I push through to grab the super shotgun. That's one of the four main uh, triggers that we need to hit. Uh, once we've got that one hit, we go over the other side here, push through these uh, hit scanners, grab the plasma and hit that switch, which is one of the, the, the second of the four um, triggers that we need to, to activate. Um, from there, I plasma through the hit scanners, grab the rocket launcher, um, and then push back. Um, open up the manga armor here, and then really important that I kill this arch file. Um, sometimes he can be around the corner and get stuck uh, behind some hell knights, which is basically just an instant reset. Um, but it's extremely important that I kill him before I um, move up these these stairs. Otherwise, he'll he'll surprise me from behind later, which I don't want. Anyway, I plasma down these hit scanners. I'm keeping an eye out to my left just to take a look at the cacos. A lot of the time cacos will, will flow through and, and pressure you from the left hand side there. So I just kind of try and keep one eye on them. Um, given that I didn't see any close to me, I just push forward and start uh, rocking down these hell knights. So once these guys are dead, I'm going to push around the corner only a little bit and then run back. That's a uh, uh, trigger that spawns another three hell knights here i need to clear these guys out before i move forward because once i hit the second switch down the end of this corridor it's going to release an arch file um, back where we just were and i don't want those hell knights getting in my way i need to come back and, and start plasmering him asap so it doesn't uh, resurrect too many uh, hell knights now once these guys are dead i'm going to drop through this window um, i want to drop down on the left hand side so i don't land on top of the invuln and then once the door's pretty much open, I'll grab the invuln, kill this arch file in the cage, uh, and then I push along the left hand wall here to hit the fourth and last trigger. Um, so we're now at a point where all of the enemies that are going to be spawning into the map will spawn in. Um, so now I can just kind of focus on, on going around doing cleanup. I like to grab the red key then just so I don't, like, the, the cyber demon's usually the last enemy alive on the map. So I, I want to, once I've killed him, just be halfway down them and ready to go to the exit. So I, I like to get it then when I've got the inbound. Um Now it's kind of just a case of um, kind of running around, trying to be as efficient as possible. Um, I end up using a bit too much plasma here. Um, which does hurt, hurt me towards the end. It would have been better for me to be a little bit more efficient. I also, there's a couple of small cell packs around that I should have grabbed, um, but I just wasn't wasn't kind of thinking about it quite quite clearly. It's quite hectic at this point in the map. You want to, you're trying to balance being safe and also fast, um, which is very difficult to do when um, when you're in a map like this. It's hard to hard to know moment to moment what the exact correct decision is about where you should go. So kind of being a little bit suboptimal here and there which is a bit unfortunate but um, now I kill that spider mastermind I want to kill that um, guy when I'm ready to, to start killing the archfile the archfile will always spawn in after the spider mastermind dies um, so I don't want the spider mastermind dying to infighting while I'm on the other side of the map and then the archfile all of a sudden has a opportunity to you know resurrect a ton of stuff so um, now, I don't quite have enough cells to kill that cyber, um, which definitely hurts me on time. I should have, as I said, been a little bit more efficient in my cell usage earlier in the map and also picked up all the you know remaining cell packs that I could have when I, when I had the chance. Um, but thankfully, it doesn't cost me too much time. Um, I, I'm able to use the, the cyber demon. I've got a couple of hell knights behind me. I'm able to use the cyber demon to clear them up um, rather than having to kill them myself. Um, and I only have to use a, 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 you know, 15 or so rockets to, to finish off the cyber, so it doesn't cost me a ton of time. And we're done. Alrighty everyone, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Catch you later.